This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Jack Threads for the win. The U.S. Bureau of Justice uh, just noted that as of 2008, 40.2 percent of the prison population was made up of African Americans. Okay, now that's an enormous number, especially considering the fact that only 12 percent of the U.S. population is black. Well, uh, an author by the name of Michelle Alexander, she really put things in perspective when she noted that we have more African Americans in prison now than we did slaves back in 1850. Now, of course, that's a little apples and oranges to say the least because we have such a different uh, pop, an amount of population overall in aggregate in the country back then. So everybody gets that. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it do, it's a number that does give you a jolt where you're like, whoa, that's amazing. And why? We've talked about it before, mainly the war on drugs. And uh, white people definitely do drugs at the uh, same rate as black people do. Uh, but the amount of times that black people are incarcerated for it is dramatically different. You know, there's some people who say, uh, and, you know, we'd have to really dive into the numbers here to see uh, the amount of white people versus the amount of black people who sell drugs. Of course, it's a different category. Uh, but look, if you grew up in a suburb, you've got a lot of different options. You grew up in Baltimore. You grew up in a context where you're robbed of options except the one way to make easy cash. Why? Because we have a ridiculous drug war that makes it illegal and that then lures people into big profits, etc., etc. But there's a million reasons behind this. But the bottom line is the war on drugs has created an environment where we are imprisoning an insane number of black people. And to the point where you wonder if it's systematic and you wonder if it's on purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, I think that's the big question there. Is it systematic or is it on purpose? And I think a lot of people would argue that it's on purpose because, as you noted, you know, study after study has indicated that both blacks and whites use drugs at the same rates. But police always target areas, urban areas, that have a, a larger black population. Why is it that more black people get arrested for the same thing that white people commit? Same cri crimes that white people commit, which, by the way, using drugs, I don't consider a crime. Uh, another really interesting thing is the fact that um, crime rates overall are historically low right now. So why are more and more black people getting arrested? You know, if you really delve into the numbers. So from 2008 to 2009, violent crime was down 5.5% overall and almost 7% in big cities. In Detroit, for instance, with the auto industry uh, shedding workers, violent crime was down 2.4%. In Washington, D.C., murder was down 23.1%. Rape was down 19.4%. So across the board, you're seeing all of these crimes c going down. But you see an increase of African Americans getting arrested for drug-related offenses. And, you know, not only do I think that that's wrong because of the fact that, you know, they're blacks and we're targeting blacks, but I think it's wrong because of the amount of money we're spending to keep these people in jail for drug-related offenses. So there's so many negative aspects of this. I think it's a very legitimate issue to discuss this in terms of uh, is it targeting black people or not? Is it a black or a white issue? But you have to also consider the other aspect of this, which is financial. And... It's and when you look at it, for example, there's a guy in Montana that we talked about recently he got pulled over for uh, passing his bong inside a car, which he shouldn't have done. But he faces a life sentence and a fifty thousand dollar fine. Now, is he going to get that? We don't know. He hasn't gone through the whole process yet. But the, even the fact that he's facing that is so unbelievable, and it happens to people all throughout the country. But meanwhile, rich people get away with it all the time. Former President George W. Bush. Uh, accused of doing much harder drugs than just pot. Uh, then President Obama, you know, is admitted to doing pot, and I believe admitted doing cocaine. But they're rich, powerful in the establishment, so there are no consequences. Republican Governor of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, just admitted he was caught with two or three shoe boxes full of pot and LSD, uh, I believe. Yeah, it was pot and LSD. And at the time, he paid a small fine. He was going to Princeton. See, kids going to Princeton, they, they don't get punished. You get caught with that same amount of uh, drugs in, you know, in the Bronx, and you're in a world of trouble. And a lot of that has to do with rich people get away with everything, and uh, the society feels like it's okay to take it out on the poor. And it, it seems to have an overall disdain for poor and middle class people 
that is part of a larger problem we have in this society. Jack Threads is a new sponsor for TYT. They're a members only online shopping club. But because you know us, you're going to get in. Aren't we cool? <laughs> <laughs> but here's a key part to it 80% off. Hello, up to 80% off of the, some of the top apparel lines in the country. Game over. Right. So go to jackthreads.com slash TYT because it's free to join and you get all those discounts and you avoid the pain in the ass. The ending of this commercial is a little schwang, right? <laughs>